Robert Yuzo. I am the Chief of Surgery uh, at Fox Chase Cancer Center. Well, I think patients have so many misconceptions about what the kidneys are and what they do. I start by just discussing the anatomy. This is what the kidneys are. They're complex organs. They do a lot of things, but what they're best known for is that they filter the blood and then they clean sort of metabolites and things like acids and potassium and thing out of the blood. And so people need to start by understanding there's a lot of blood flowing to your kidneys. They're very metabolically active. And when a cancer is diagnosed, it can manifest in many ways. The most common way is that it's just found accidentally. And so we start with how long was it there? And the answer is often we don't know how long these kidney masses are there. But when we've gone back and looked and published some papers on it, they are often there for somewhere between three and five years before the initial diagnosis. And frankly, I use that as a way to comfort patients because they just heard about this mass in their kidney. They just heard they have kidney cancer. And so it's a moment in time and they often think this must have just started a month or six months ago. It's often been a process that's been evolving for five or more years. And they should know that because when you have a small mass, typically a small mass on your kidney, knowing that it's been there for five years and it's still stage one really is kind of comforting. So I start by sort of going over the anatomy. I then go over sort of a timeline. I put it in perspective and I try to help them understand, you know, where they are in the spectrum of their disease. Mm -hmm.